I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings, Richard's favourite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy, and I was going home. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure, my favorite painting by Amelia, the day of our wedding anniversary. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best. And his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion. And I came to realize I want his passion in my life. Every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it. So we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the others at our side, we married as the sun set over this remarkable land. Mother will never forgive me. Atlas will forever resent me. But I don't care anymore. I'm free of de Mornay obligations. Free to pursue my own passions and live my life surrounded by those who will encourage and challenge me. I'm excited for the future, whatever it may bring. Tomorrow, Richard and I return home to London as the Crofts, forging our path together.